Ruan Pinar has the responsibility of getting the series underway. And immediately away from the Lions forwards. And an early kick from Brian O'Driscoll. Got a little nudge as he kicked it as well. And a great bounce of the ball. Got great clearance from O'Driscoll. What's the winger beneath? For Ridu Priya, who's been in such imperious form for the Bulls during this year's Super 14. His kick is tight to the touchline and putting pressure on Ugo Monye, but there were Springboks ahead of the ball. And a kickable penalty early on in 2005. This to get the Lions underway, but it's just away to the left. Hang on, hang on. And Stain wants to return it with interest. Huge punt downfield from Francois Stain. And a great nerve settler for him. Wow, it's an unbelievable response from Stain. Spies with a tackle made by Jenkins. Pinar. Some space in behind the Lions defence here, and JP Peterson gives chase. It's Peterson against Monier. And Jacobs is on hand. Scrum. Scrum South Africa. Great following up from JP Peterson and AD Jacobs. Well, Joel, I was just going to say, the rush defence has been employed by the Lions throughout this tour to great effect, but it does expose you to that little kick. Yeah, even in the move before, that last pass from Andy Jacobs granted from a stone and line If that had managed to get away to Banner, he was clear. Great first scrum from the Springboks. Pinar with the little dart. Farida Priya has quick ball for Juan Smith. They want to bring it left here, the Springboks. John Smith! work from the Springbok captain, great cohesion, his fifth test try, boy does that put a marker down. Well if anyone thought the Springboks were not going to be well enough prepared, think again, brilliant pulled up here, set move through the phases, both the Lion centres involved in making the tackle, the next ball out, a little bit of space for Smith, try number one for South Africa, perfect start. Great leg strength, great drive. Top crop getting there, but all too late. Perfect start for South Africa. And Ruan Pinar gets a pretty straightforward first kick at goal as well, which we always thought was important, just to find his radar. South Africa lead by seven. A massive statement from the Springboks early on as Stephen Jones restarts. Staying underneath, took his eye off it. Straight away, the Lions will have an opportunity to apply pressure. Scrum, centre field, inside the Springbok 22. Vickery's popped out again, picked up by Heaslip at the back. Phillips was the dummy runner. O'Driscoll with the cutout from Monnier! Wow, that's a perfect response from the Lions. Vinyas thinks he may, may well have saved this. Ball's in the air at the moment. Still in the air. Not grounded yet well, from think, that evidence. I think Jean de Villiers has produced the miracle save. Bryce, I have a decision. Thank you. The ball was not uh, touching goal. The ball was not touching goal. So, 22 metre dropout has been awarded. And now the up and under onto Monnier. Pierre Spies gives chase. It came off Spies. Brousseau is following up like the terrier that he is, but uh, knocked on by Pierre Spies. Pause, bingo! Another big scrum from the Springboks. John Smith absolutely delighted, and they're all over their skipper, John Smith. And all over the beast, it's a massive front row effort here. Good pressure in from behind, and the Lions came. A relatively quiet stadium for him as he approaches. He turned and picked up the tee straight away. Always a suggestion that the strike is pure. 
Well, got one yard was. He was very quick to get over and contest the ball on the ground. I'm not sure he was carrying his whole body weight. It looked like he may well have been almost lying on it, but got his hands on it. He's won the penalty. This was a banner's little dot. Good tackle coming across with Jenkins. Monia was quick over there, but he is certainly not bearing his body weight. And that's why Brian Abana wasn't happy. Great tackle from Jenkins, though. That's what he gives the Lions in, instead of an Andrew Sheridan, who a lot of South African pundits felt would be the loose head. Jones for the three points, and it's away to the left. Good scrum again from the Springboks, and Brousseau has poached it away. Dupria went to the open side and then stole some space on the blind. It's a good tackle. Oh, and Dupria stayed down on that shoulder. I'm just hoping for Faree's sake that he hasn't gone onto that bad shoulder again. I don't know oh, if well. there were arms in that tackle. Certainly uh, the touch judge put his flag out after that to chat to the ref. So maybe we'll find a, a slightly bigger decision here than we thought. The call is made by Vinnie Munro that it will be a penalty to South Africa for that shoulder charge. No use of the arms. One of the penalties he's kicked was in the Rugby World Cup final from a similar distance. It certainly got the distance. It's got the direction as well. No real momentum there, but they've got an extra man over here on the right. Roberts gets a first opportunity. O'Driscoll! Brad O'Driscoll! Beautiful stepping in the offload for Croft. The try is awarded. And a vital response as well as Stephen Jones adds the two points. Combining with Alan Wynne Jones, second row for Wales. Oh, another penalty for South Africa. This to take his tally to 70. Percy Montgomery at the bottom right hand corner of your screen there, the kicking coach. And straight away he goes for the tee. South Africa ahead by nine. Matfield. Jacobs and the rush defense is up again. Tommy Bow couldn't grab it. The banner will give chase and will make the tackle. Jacobs in over the ball as well. And Tommy Bow under the pressure. Is to extend the lead to 12 points with just under five minutes to play in the first half. Pinar's got a lovely curve on that. Flags up again. Four out of four from the boot of Ruan Pinar. Bench is smiling again. They went through a, a pretty tense period. That they did. That's South Africa bounced back well, Bob. And I'm sure looking at the breakdown, Paul O'Connell and Ian McEachin are going to have to have a little word at the half-time break and work out what to do at the breakdown. Definitely, Joel. And they, they might give uh, Brian O'Driscoll a change of underpants too. So Stephen Jones gets the second half underway in Durban. Jean de Villiers is underneath it, but Roberts gets up first. Matfield leaps high once again. Here comes the all. Brousseau, it's working like clockwork. Adam Jones trying to drag it towards touch. Heinrich Brousseau, still in possession. The Springboks moved it to the left, now back to the right. This is a powerful forward surge. And Heinrich Brousseau has got it down for South Africa's second try. And the British and Irish Lions maestros at this a few years ago. Neil Back controlled it at the back of the, the mall. This time it is Heinrich Brousseau. Small in stature, big in presence, big in strength, and big in grounding the ball on this occasion. Come on, ten. It's a long, ten. long on, way back for the Lions from here. Come on, ten. Pina has got it straight through the middle. That's a great kick. Ross Lawrence is shouting at him to hurry up. He's shouting, come on, Ted, get on with it. Another tackle from Brousseau. Phillips with the darts. He's dangerous close to the line. Bryce Lawrence will have a look upstairs, and Juan Smith thinks there's a knock on. Big, strong, and powerful is Phillips. The stretch. Does he ground it here? Bucky gets his hand in. Oh, sure, that's a tough call. Decision. Okay. So forward, forward. Lost On forward. Balance. It yes. looks as though it's Scrum been lost five, forward. But will they yes. come back for a penalty? Well, I think advantage was played. Look up. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Still very committed. Springbok defence. O'Driscoll for Croft. There is his second try. 
Phillips, through he goes, next to the post. Oh my word. Again, it's a brilliant build up from the Lions. Stephen Jones. And surely now South Africa will be too good. They'll see this out. Victor Matthew will more than likely call it to himself. They've got to, Scott Becker in front as well. They've got to win the line out first. And struggling to hear the calls in amongst the cacophony that is the Absa Stadium. Little wink from Andries Becker. When you've got a two meter, eight centimeter start, there's a slightly easier to win. Ricky January boots it high into the stands. And the Springboks have prevailed in a quite extraordinary contest. Outscored by the Lions by three tries to two. But the boots of Ruan Pinar kept him in front.